Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, ES tested essentially yesterday's breakdown spot at the 1918, and uh, we got a failure over there resulting in a push to a new low down towards 1903. We had support at 1900.75 to 1902.75. Responsive buyers were active on first test, one tick ahead of that zone. And right now we're more or less just balancing near the lows near the bottom of the recent range. So heading into the open, we're going to watch how the market reacts to 06 to 07 half. This is the bottom of a previous short-term balance area. And holding above it would just tell us that there is a little bit of short-term stability in the market and that you know perhaps this is not a market that's going to liquidate on the day time frame. So you know we are going to watch 06 to 07 half. 1910 to 1912 is key resistance heading into the open and sellers can maintain control below that area so if ES actually pops and breaks above 1910 to 1912 you know that would be yet another sign that this is not a liquidation type day that uh, you know the market's actually stabilizing and responsive buyers are being pretty aggressive and stepping in at these lower prices so as long as we hold below 06 to 07 half or even 10 to 12 we know that sellers can maintain control and will be very cautious on the long side but at the same time if the market does start holding above these levels then we have to be actually a bit more cautious on the short side uh, because at that point we could quite easily above 10 to 12 you know go up and fill the gap at 13 uh, naked VPOC at 15 and then test the overnight high and uh, uh, the resistance at 16 quarter to 18 quarter so uh, you know off the open even though short term right now the bias is bearish we just have to be flexible enough to adapt if things turn around and um, you know this uh, sell-off that started in the overnight session doesn't have any follow-through in the day session uh, so you know by default we're gonna be cautious on the long side and uh, you know we're our bias is bearish heading into the open but just you know, be flexible enough to adapt if uh, the market does start actually stabilizing above 06 to 07 half, and then especially if 10 to 12 uh, gets taken out to the upside, at that point, uh, you know, that liquidation scenario, or at least, uh, you know, follow through and continued liquidation on the day time frame would be, uh, you know, a low probability event. But uh, as long as we hold below 06 to 07 half, 19, 10 to 12, the sellers can still press it, and we could get a uh, push down to the lower support zones. The 1975 to 1902 calls for caution because we've already gotten a reaction at 1903. Uh, so it's still a valid support zone and depending how you know how price approaches it and uh, depending on how the internals are shaping up it could still be a potential long setup but it does call for caution because we have already reacted at 1903 and now it would be second test and most likely um, the second time we go down there, the market will push a bit lower in order to find buyers. Below 1900, we have support at 95.75 to 97.75, and then better support at 91.75 to 93.75, and strong support at 87.5 to 1890. And that's an area that was first discussed when we actually started this big liquidation move, um, you know, back uh, a few days ago when we came all the way down to uh, you know the 24 to 26 area we talked about the 1888 to 1890 being the really strong support which uh, you know had potential to be tested at this point on the larger time frames and now that the market has had time to kind of absorb and balance after that big sell-off and now we're breaking down yet again you know if we hold below 06 to 07 half then uh, that 87 half to 1890 could be in play but really I mean all of these support zones have potential to turn the market around um, you know the Russell overnight has actually held up uh, relatively well now that could change heading into the open and you know Russell could sell off and join uh, you know this uh, weakness that we're seeing in the S&P but at least in the overnight session we've seen that so far it's held up all right um, NQ is also near some pretty decent support and uh, you know for that reason and because we've already seen a lot of um, short-term exhaustion 
on the day time frame with multiple negative 13, 1400 tick readings, you know, the market is uh, near a major inflection point and we could get some pretty aggressive buyers as the market pushes down into these support zones. So, uh, you know, we do have to be careful not being overly bearish at too low of a price. Um, you know, if we're getting good trade entry and uh, we're managing risk properly and we're being cautious even on the short side, um, then, you know, this market's fine and um, you can still, you know, take advantage of some continued downside movement. But, uh, you know, we are heading into some major inflection points and uh, some major support zones. And those areas can a lot of times, um, you know, serve as spots that completely turn the market around and attract, um, you know, larger time frame buyers. And it can result in a lot of momentum and a complete reversal of the, uh, you know, short term downswing. So right now, the, the way the context is set up, you know, we know that short term the market's weak, but at the same time, uh, we know that we're heading into some pretty major support areas below, and that can turn the market around. And, uh, you know, we could see some aggressive buyers stepping in at some of these lower prices, um, and, uh, you know, that can result in a complete uh, shift from, you know, downside momentum back to upside momentum. So we'll just have to, uh, you know, keep the overall context in mind. And, um, you know, right now we are still thinking that, you know, this can, this can head a bit lower and we could get some short setups out of this. But just, you know, watch the 06 to 07 half, you know, see how it's reacting there. Holding below it definitely gives more edge on the short side. But then as we head into some of these lower support zones, you know, that's where the buy side can be a bit aggressive and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a good idea to cover and at least take profit at those support zones um, if you're short and then potentially even look for long setups, right? Especially at 91.75 to 93.75 and 87.5 to 90, um, you know, that's an area that really has potential to, uh, you know, turn things around short term, especially in the S&P. So as we approach those areas, you know, if we're short, we definitely want to cover, but uh, at the same time, you know, those are spots that can actually result in um, some decent, uh, you know, bounces back up towards 1900 to 03 and potentially even back up to 06, 07 half and higher. So, uh, you know, the reward to risk is certainly there on the long side down at those support zones, 9175 to 9375, 87 half to 1890. So, uh, you know, we'll keep that idea in mind too. And uh, as long as we're not in a complete trend down day, where the reversal could happen tomorrow, um, you know, we will look for long setups down at those, uh, you know, better support spots, 87.5 to 90 and 91.75 to 93.75. So those are the thoughts heading into the session. Um, you know, volume's running pretty high right now, close to 200% on the relative volume chart. Uh, we don't really have any economic catalysts on the day time frame, and that's the other reason to be a bit cautious um, as far as looking for, you know, a big range extension lower. So it is going to require, um, you know, real-time read at the 06 to 07 half off the open to kind of gauge, um, you know, hey, is there enough momentum to really make a big swing to the downside? And if we uh, see those signs of like a trend down or trend morning at least type setup, then we will be aggressive on the short side. Um, and if we start seeing some stability, then we need to back off and uh, potentially even get long. So that's something we will have to gauge off the open, depending on how the market reacts uh, to the 06 to 07 half and 10 to 12. So those are the thoughts heading into the open. Let's see, um, you know, how well the sellers are able to maintain short-term control, and then let's see if responsive buyers are able to step in at uh, some of these better support spots and turn this, you know, downside around.